From time to time it is necessary to send confidential documents via email. For example, one may need to send a scan of his passport to his lawyer or it can be exclusive price list for your potential partner. In any case, uh, we want no one except us and the recipient be able to get access to this information. One of the possible solutions is to convert your documents into password protected PDF files. In this screencast I would like to demonstrate how ABI PDF Transformer can be used for creation of such protected PDFs. One of the components installed together with ABI PDF Transformer is so-called ABI PDF Exchange Virtual Printer. This virtual printer can be used for creation of PDF files from any Windows application which has print function. Now let's take a look at how it can be applied to practice. On my desktop I have a scan of several passports saved in regular PDF file and I would like to make it password protected. All I have to do just to open this file and then send it for printing. As a printing device it is necessary to select uh, our virtual PDF exchange printer and then we go to its properties. There are lots of different things available, but we are interested in the security. We set the tick next to use PDF security and now we are able to set the passwords not only for opening the document, but also to change permissions and password. Also, it is possible to restrict changes in this document and its printing. Now, let's set the passwords. Okay, it's done and also as uh, you may see 256-bit advanced uh, encryption standard algorithm will be used and just to give you an indication of reliability of this algorithm I will say that uh, uh, to complete brute force attack against this algorithm it will take far longer than the age of our universe. So it is reliable enough. OK, everything is ready. We press OK button and uh, again OK for sending this document to printer. And we select uh, uh, destination where our document has to be saved. I prefer to save it uh, on a desktop. And as you can see, new document appeared and in order to open it, it is necessary to indicate our password. As you may see, printing is not available anymore because it has been restricted in the security settings. Now it is much safer to send this file to a lawyer via email and the password can be sent uh, via alternative channel such as uh, telephone or SMS message, for example. But imagine that it is necessary not only to set a password, but you also would like to underline that the document is confidential by putting a watermark on its background. It can be also easily done with the help of IB PDF Transformer. For example, let's take a look on this Excel price list created for our potential partner. And in order to create PDF file, I also should send it for printing. As a printing device, I am selecting our virtual printer PDF exchange and go to its properties. First of all, I'm going to security in order to set necessary passwords for opening and for changing permissions and after that I'm passing to watermarks. First of all it is necessary to enable them and at this point we will be able to create a new one. So first of all we indicate its name, let it be confidential mark, mark and here we are able to type the text so let it be one word, confidential.
and it is possible to tune font, its style, color, and orientation. So let's put rotation 45 degrees. I press OK. Everything is almost ready. Just one more thing. I would like to have this confidential mark on a background. Now I'm pressing OK and sending the document for printing. At this point it is necessary to indicate the path for saving of PDF file and its name. Let's call it price. And in couple of seconds document is ready. Let me show it on a desktop. Here it is. And as you can see, in order to open it, it is necessary to input our password. And also, we have got this confidential mark on the background of our document. To finalize, I would like to underline that IBPDF Transformer can be used not only together with Microsoft Excel or Adobe Reader demonstrated in the screencast, but together with any Windows application which has a printing function. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found useful this screencast.